Well, hey, AYL fans, I'm Kevin Mortensen. And I'm Gina Mortensen. And welcome to At Your Leisure. Today we're in a little bit of a different environment for us, aren't we? We're in the city. You hear the cars go by, motorcycles, and we're actually going to go hiking. You know, we're from southern Utah, so we decided to do something different. Drive three hours north to the city and check out your trails. This is a little, like I said earlier, this is different than the type of trails we're used to. I'm used to extreme arid conditions too. Um, my, one of my favorite is Calf Creek Falls in the center of Utah. That's a that's a, a regular. Every year we try to make Calf Creek Falls two and a half miles in, two and a half miles out. <laughs> I like Rainbow Bridge, but there is absolutely no shade there. So they said that, that on this hike we're going to run into waterfalls, lakes, wildlife, wildflowers, wild everything as wild as you can get in downtown Salt Lake. He says it's green. Yeah. And so this is completely different from what I'm used to, and I'm excited to go explore. So come along with us. beautiful all right so we're 10 minutes maybe what 12 15 minutes at the most into this hike and I can't hear any cars all I can hear is the sound of rushing water which is great this really is can't pretty even hear me talk over it <laughs> that or they're just ignoring me oh, you know sorry. we've made it up into some some pine trees and some scrub oak and nicely and... shaded and it's the middle of the day I think what it's one o'clock in the afternoon so yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice, nice it, and cool. It's really it hasn't been that bad of a hike. It's been really good. A little strenuous at first, but it kind of looks like it's leveled off. Now we're going to switch back up the hills. While we go do that, you guys do not want to miss this week's Where To. We all know the amazing sights in Grand Staircase Escalante, but the National Monument is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to all the fantastic recreation offered in Garfield County. Not only are there countless activities, there is also a vast changing landscape throughout the county as well. In Garfield County, we have 3.3 million acres just in Garfield County. We're the size of Connecticut. I mean, look around right now. Look at the view that we have, and there's plenty of room to do all kinds of things. You can camp, you can hike, you can bike. We have great bike trails. We have great ATV trails. We have uh, fishing, hunting. You name it, uh, you can do it here in Garfield County, and it's a beautiful place. We've got the uh, low deserts, the red sand, the red rocks, and yet we've got mountains like this one right here. We're standing on top of uh, what's the Escalante Mountain. We're right above Anemone, and uh, as you can tell, uh, look at the, the beautiful scenery around us. We have a little bit of everything in Garfield County. The north portion of the county is also where the much-anticipated second leg of Butch's Loop runs through. This gives even more opportunities to visit the historic area and see through the eyes of those who lived in the Old West. This morning, we left out of Anemone. We come out through Center Creek Trail, up to where we're hooked into the Poison Creek Trail. We went, once we come off of Poison Creek, we done Mud Lake. Presently, we're sitting on the Great Western Trail. This particular leg, I think, is the variety. You're out in open sagebrush country, but then you get up into the high conifer forest. And if you're real adventurous, there's a couple of gorgeous little lakes you can go by. You can see so much, do so much, and just have a fantastic time. Yesterday, I actually stood at uh, Butch Cassidy's hideout out near uh, Canyonlands in uh, Robert's Roost. Uh, and now I'm riding a trail that, who knows, maybe he crossed through 
um, in this Tri-County area. So it's a, it's a fun place to be and it's a fun ride. And, it, and I, I think if people really knew uh, what is here, I think that they would be amazed at the wide open spaces that we have in Garfield County. So if you're like Butch Cassidy, looking to escape to Garfield County and want a posse to ride with, reach out to the local OHV club, the Garfield Rough Riders. We, we publish when we're gonna go on a ride and anybody's invited. It's all about fun and getting out and smelling the flowers, looking at the trees. Uh, it's, you know, we've got some of the best trails in the world right here uh, in our county. Our county's just huge and it's filled with dirt, dirt roads and trails depending on what you want to do. If you want a, a beginner experience, an intermediate or advanced, we, we can find something here for everybody. The land here is waiting with open arms to be explored, and so is the rest of Garfield County. So visit BriceCanyonCountry.com to set up the adventure of a lifetime. Whether that be following in the tracks of notorious outlaws or enjoying the otherworldly desert landscape, this will be the place you want to set your sights on where to go. For At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase. Hard day's play. Find out how many ways you can fill up a day at uintobasin.org. Hey honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. Dear Diary, we went camping for our vacation on Tusher Lake. We did so many fun things. Hey. You know, I learned something on this trip. Camping on Tusher Lake is way more fun than any old mouse in an amusement park. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. Your off-road vehicle may be your daily driver as well. We take care of it, so it takes care of you. Hi everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Sam the Gadget Girl, and today I am at State Trailer Supply with Travis, their manager. How's it going? It's going well. Travis and I have pulled together three incredible products that are going to be a game changer this summer for you camping in your trailer. So uh, let's start closest to you. Tell me a little bit about this jack. All right, this is a Ram jack. It's a 3,500 pound capacity jack. The nice feature that you have here, you've got the little push buttons to raise it up and down. Um, makes it real easy uh, for your trailer. In case you do run out of power, uh, which happens at times, you're going to remove the little cap right here. You've got a little wrench to raise it manually. So you've got both options uh, um, to raise and lower your jack. There's not, no, nothing ever frustrating when um, you run out of power, but you do have the nice handle there to raise it up and down. I'm a big fan of the buttons, but I definitely feel like having the backup is super important. You never know, right? Speaking of running out of power, our next gadget we've pulled out is a really incredible LED wall light. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this? 
This is a nice little uh, um, item to have when you're out camping. You've got the little solar panels here. As you put that in the sun, um, that's going to um, power up your light so you don't need batteries. Uh, it does have some features here. You can hang it up on the wall. Um, you can set it out on the table. It, uh, it is definitely very bright, brightens up the campsite. My family loves to sit outside the trailer and play card games, so this would be perfect for us at night. Now, last but definitely not least is my favorite gadget we have pulled out today. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this yeah, let's bug talk zapper light? a little bit light? about, uh, first of all, it collapses down, pulls out. It's got a nice, really bright feature to it, lightens it right up. Um, as you open it up, um, your little pesky bugs that get there, it'll zap those. Um, has a little broom here to kind of sweep off any of the uh, remains of the bugs that you zap. Um, really lightweight, bright, and uh, it can be used, hang it up in the tree, set it out on the table, but a great feature to have when you're out camping. I could use one of these in my backyard. <laughs> All right, well, Thank you so much for having me today. Thanks for coming in. If you guys want to check out um, these or any of the other incredible inventory they have down here at State Trailer Supply, come visit them on 3600 South and Redwood Road in Salt Lake City. We will be right back with more at your leisure. Life's busy. The family is all headed in different directions. Work, school, sports. How do you pull everyone together? Stedman's Recreation can help you explore the outdoors and create memories to last a lifetime. Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of recreational vehicles. Side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, street bikes, electric bikes, trailers, and accessories. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full-service department of Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here at the reservoir right now, and it feels so nice to relax. Well, they say it's about we came uphill a lot. Right, it's a about, about a third of the way up, they said. So we're, we're maybe a third of the way through the whole hike, hopefully. That's a, that's a big, big climb. It was pretty steep, so if you're not in shape, this will definitely get you working. <laughs> yeah, but you're right. I would say it's a good 15 to 20 degrees cooler here where we are. Kids are having a good time. We're meeting a lot of really cool people. It's a busy trail. There's a lot of people out hiking today. This is a very busy trail, and I've seen little kids, and I've seen adults. So all age levels, this is perfect. You know, what's funny is, is most of the people we've met are from the Salt Lake Valley, but this is their first time on this trail. A lot of them said, we usually hike down in your neck of the woods. So, hey, we're not the only cool people on this trail today. We've met some really neat people. And let's find out what they enjoyed about this trail. We're going to go explore it. This trail is geared more towards somebody that uh, is looking for a moderately strenuous hike that uh, 
They're looking to, to break a sweat and to enjoy nature. It's not an easy hike, but it's, it's certainly an enjoyable hike. It's a good one. I mean, it, it will get your heart going, like especially the first little bit of it. But I mean, that's ultimately good in the end, right? Exactly. <laughs> I would say that uh, I've done Mount Olympus. This is probably easier than Mount Olympus is, but uh, Mount Olympus is probably a little more spectacular in, in view and just overall uh, ability. But uh, we actually like hiking down to St. George, and we do most of our hiking down there. We don't do a lot of hiking in the area, so I really don't know the uh, area, the Salt Lake area all that well. All that well. Uh, hopefully we can see the waterfall. I heard it's uh, flowing pretty good today, so I've, I've heard great things about it, and I'm excited to, to go check it out. I just love being outside and being in nature. I love the sound of the stream crossing the bridges. I love the exercise. So there's everything I just love about it. Okay. I love it, I think it's great, but- He's uh, more athletic, I'm not so much. It's close to the valley. You know, it's just about 15 minutes from home to the trailhead. And then it's just, I mean, it's pretty spectacular to be that close to home and see something like this. It's amazing. Yeah, essentially in our backyard, you know. Yeah. That was awesome. It was, you know, it's pretty easy going up the beginning and then it gets a little more challenging, but a really, really fun trail to hike. Uh, first was the reservoir. Beautiful, peaceful. I really like the bouldering at the end, going up that steep area. Yeah. I mean, we saw deer on the way up, pretty close, and that was that was fun to get real close to a deer. I just you know walking along the river, the lake was beautiful down below, and then of course the waterfall was just amazing. The topograph changes quite a bit, um, from bridges to small water drops to big waterfall. You get you get a big dose of everything. I like seeing the wildlife and just spending time on the hike. It's, it's really close to the valley. Uh, it's, it's not too difficult. So it's, of course, they always want more, but it's me that probably wants a little less. They're fast and it's, it's just close to the valley. Well, from the sound of it, it looks like we've got a pretty good hike ahead of us. I'm really excited about this hike. <laughs> so this is a Utah watershed, so they want you to be careful with your dogs and with your food. And you're not supposed to have your dogs, and you're not supposed to swim. So, because you're going to end up drinking this. this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, so we're halfway through this hike, and it's been a really good one. I'm really anxious to see what's up the hill. It's been really fun. You know, one thing I've noticed on this hike is that we are going through private property, and down where we live, there's a lot of trails that go through private property, and up here we wouldn't dare jump somebody's back fence to go you know, into their backyard or down where we live. It seems like we want ATVers to be a little more responsible and stay on the trails. I can, you can really understand it when you've got those boundary lines like a, like a fence that you're passing. But listen, we're gonna go finish up this hike and while we make our way up the trail, we're gonna send you guys off to this week's Along the Way sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. This week on At Your Leisure, we're following the Stedman clan out into the West Desert to find out how they bring their family together and enjoy some well-earned time away from our favorite store in Tooele. I'll try and have some fun with some grandkids, kids and grandkids, and uh, normally we don't go on Memorial Day weekend because uh, everybody's out playing on Memorial Day weekend and we, we usually work through Saturday, but uh, there's a big desert out here in the West Desert, so uh, we figured we'd come out and see if we can get away from everybody. and. Uh, do some family social distancing out here and uh, let the kids ride their dirt bikes and collect rocks and flowers and ride the side-by-sides and just have a good time. We decided to get together and uh, we uh, have the holiday weekend and we actually have three birthdays that we're celebrating that we're catching them up and doing them all while we're here. We just had a steak dinner for everybody and we're gonna do some some Dutch oven uh, cherry, cherry chocolate cake and uh, just have a great time. There's something special about bringing the family together camping, spending the days riding your favorite machines, and gathering around the campfire at night. It's the perfect way to ensure incredible family bonding, create lifelong memories, and even celebrate life's biggest moments. We got engaged about a month ago, actually. So it's been fun to have her kind of experience what my family's about and what childhood was like growing up as well and uh, you know just get her oriented and uh, acclimated to the family. 
It's been super awesome. I've loved getting to know the Sedman family a little more since I'm gonna be a big part of it. And it's been fun going in the middle of nowhere. My family goes camping, but not quite like this. We're more in a group setting. So it's awesome to be kind of, you know, just isolated and in the, in the great outdoors and I've loved it so far. I've never really been on, you know, any dirt bikes or side-by-sides. So it's been fun to just get out on those and experience that. From first timers to pros, Everyone enjoys these family trips, but for the first timers and the ones who teach them, these moments are once in a lifetime. One gal today, she rode with training wheels. She's four years old, but she rode, she's never rode before. So she rode for an hour twice today and all by herself and just loved the heck out of it. So that means so much to me to where it can my family traditions can carry on what we what we had given to us to to be kids and and go out and have fun and do and you just got to do it kids got to have something they like to do and dirt bikes are such a good thing for the kids to do so uh, it's great i'd love to see them have it and enjoying what we're doing for the stedman family this is how they pass on their legacy the good times are enjoyed by all, and even the young ones are immersed in the family fun. Hanging out with the family, being by the campfire, riding my dirt bike, going on, on razor rides, I, I mean, take out to get eating door. dinner, dinner by the campfire. This is a memorable weekend to me because I have all my kids, all my grandkids, they're all interacting, they're all having a good time, and they're all doing what we grew up doing, and this has been a great weekend. It couldn't have been any better. So next time you're trying to get your family together and create those meaningful memories, take a page from the Stedman's book. For At Your Leisure, I'm Jim Kelly. Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. There's so many trails to go up on and, and explore. The desert and then you've got the lake, you got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? Can-Am off-road vehicles are always ready to get the job done. For every harvest, hunt, and ride, because those who don't stop need a machine that won't quit. And now, at the Ready to Ride event, get up to $3,000 off on select 2019 models. Visit your local Can-Am dealer for details. I can hear it. It's right there. <laughs> so pretty up here. You guys 
Salt Lake. I can see the whole Salt Lake Valley, but this is where I want to yeah, be. Yeah, behind the camera, you can't really tell from this angle, but you're looking up what we've been hiking towards, but behind us is the entire Salt Lake Valley, and it really is spectacular, which means we're almost to the top of the trail. So while we make our way up the last quarter mile of the trail, we're gonna send you guys out to check out this week's lucky sticker winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Ryan Depp. Congratulations, Ryan. It looks like you're the lucky winner of one of these amazing coolers from Lurpin Outdoor. Lurpin is a Utah company and they make some amazing outdoor products and these coolers are fantastic. They fit in most side-by-sides and they keep your food and drinks cold for days. Visit their website for more information. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, let's take a look at our Trail of the Week. This week's Trail of the Week is the Burbank Hills OHV Trails, which are located in Millard County, approximately 80 miles west of Delta. To get more information on this trail, or to get 360 street views of this or any of the other trails we've completed on the Trail 360 project, visit our website, outsiders.zone. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and Scott Huntsman are joining the Garfield Rough Riders as they hit the trails in Wayne County and look to finish the third section of the Butch Cassidy Loop from Loa back to Circleville. Then, the AYL crew is getting back on the machines as we show you another great area to find some solitude and enjoy the outdoors as we visit the trails down in Millard County. Finally, Reese Stein is back to show off a different kind of nature preserve as he shows off the efforts to protect desert tortoises in the Red Cliffs near St. George. Okay, you don't want to miss next week's show. It looks pretty cool. Kind of like this hike. Almost as amazing as this <laughs> waterfall. You know what? We're, we made it to the waterfall just in the nick of time because we're out of time for this week's show. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed all the fun places that we've gone. And get out here on, on Bill's Canyon and, and try out this hike. It's a beautiful hike, you'll love it. You will sweat, so the cold water will be worth it when you get up here. Kind of like getting a shower of cold water behind us right now. It you is see like the mist, a shower. little bit of a breeze, and it's totally worth it. So remember, get out and enjoy some Utah, because there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, at your, your leisure. leisure.